Alrighty, well, morning everybody. Well, um, just to get this out of the way, I'm doing this in a bit of a hurry. Um, I had just finished my stream here about a half hour, 45 minutes ago, and I'm still uh, in the middle of working on my blog post for, for, um, for that session. Um, and then, there, and like as often happens, I'm at a point in the, I'm at a point in the blog where, um, I'm just gonna find it easier to just make a video about what I want to talk about than have to like. Type, I type down this like whole mile long wall of text with you know images and all that and you know taking all day and um I'm I still need to get a nap in there too I still need to get a nap in too because I plan on streaming a uh, Guild Wars 2 here in a here in a little bit so so yeah um but anyway um before I continue on um I'm gonna go ahead and throw some music on in the background like I usually do this time around it's gonna be Gorgon's Altar Golden Age Desolation. So, but yeah, I'm. But uh, this is actually a video. Um. I've basically been putting off for a while. Um, I'm showcasing um, uh, I'm showcasing this team that I've been using recently, but it's. It's not. It's nothing. It's not of my own creation or anything. This was taken directly from a uh, Genki. One of Genki calls videos. So, nothing. It's as terrifying a thought as it is a reality. Nothing. Let's see if I can turn that down a bit. System and let me system. let me do this real fast. Frameworks. Okay. Game's gonna freeze. It always does this. But yeah, this is um the original. I actually did a video on this. The original iteration of it actually had a leprechaun. Like I said, I actually did a video of this. Well, again, I was uh checking out one of Genki Call's videos, and uh, she had this team in there, and I was. I was kind of reluctant to make a video about this. It just, it felt like plagiarism, but, but um, nevertheless, this really was an awesome troop to add. Now, you're sacrificing uh, Leprechaun's first turn board blow, but, so you gotta, I'll probably explain more later, but uh, you're, you're gonna have to go clucking for uh, brown and yellow matches at the outset, just trying to get a Tooth of the Wild going. But on the upside, um, my hero and the Wild Queen are going to start with 50% mana because this is something else I didn't know at the time. When I first got Wild Queen, I thought she was just a Wild Folk. I didn't know she was elemental. Well, now she's going to start with 50% mana. And then on top of that too, this is actually going to be a lot more useful in PvP because being able to curse the enemies is pretty important. And then converting all the green gems to Doom Skulls, yeah, that. So, to me, a worthwhile trade. But um, if there were any times where I was just having a really hard time trying to try to get brown and yellow matches on the first turn, then yeah. I'd, yeah, I'd go ahead and throw Leprechaun back in, but there's a few there's a few situations here and there where I don't start with any brown or yellows in this. Yeah, that's kind of loud. Okay, anyway, so yeah. But if there ever was a situation where I'm just not getting any, uh, I'm struggling to get them, get browns and yellows, and yeah, I sub them back in. But like I said. It hasn't happened often enough to warrant it. Is because what Mirashi Queen provides is just too valuable. So, but like I usually do, I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo run. But 
again, you're looking for uh, browns and yellows. Trying to get him powered up because it blows up green gems and it also starts up a leaf storm. Just something quick. I can hardly hear it. And then again with uh, Wild Queen, um, when it comes to who to target, I usually work from the top down, avoiding all the entangled enemies. And then um, when the combination of Skulls and Green Gems results in a four match, popping that, but I'm not seeing any, so... Okay, got one. 139 attack. And then um, when there's multiple targets, it's pretty much a uh, queen the rest of the way, but it looks like I'm going to have to go with those. Because Wild Queen doesn't directly attack anybody. He just deals attack and then makes uh, greens and skulls. But like I said, it's um I was very reluctant on making this on making this video cuz it just it felt like I was plagiarizing um um Yankee calls work. And then I get my search. Don't want to go too heavy on the uh, four matches. You don't want to entangle that many people. Let's get that. Oh, and um, I do prioritize Wild Queen over Mirage. Just trying to up that attack power, which is at 135 right now, but I think I've had it as high. I've had it as high as uh, 250, I think. be the rest of the way. Check that. Okay, so let's um so let's go ahead and do a PvP battle. Maybe I'll have better luck now than I did um during the stream earlier. Always avoiding the elementalists. Um, yeah, that's loud. Somebody submerged. So, I forgot to mention this a few moments ago. Having Mirage Queen in here just really up, really up the versatility of this team because I used to have to avoid um, battles that had Tide Collars or Frost Mages because of Submerge. Submerge pretty much shuts down, shuts down Queen Bee. But now, uh, if I can get a curse on him, that'll uh, get rid of the submerge as well. So 
Ah. Got it. Off goes the submerge. Here we go. Ah, uh, let's do one more. Okay. For a team like this, I'd use my rock band. So, but it seems it's Yeah, same thing. Normally, again, normally, if I had a team that had Queen Bee, or hell, be a old, old iteration of this team, also had Binoxia that dealt damage to all, all enemies. Normally, I would have avoided Tide Collar, Tide Collar battles. But now that I got Mirage Queen in there, it's a go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of water real quick. Turn out so good. Not going as planned. <sighs> but yeah, um, yeah, I do a normally I do a mirror match with this one. Because I have the same exact team as this guy does. But I'll do this one. But I also forgot to mention too. Um, very powerful troop right here. Um, I guess you got to use her in a lot of other teams as well. And there's, and I think that was the... Uh, I think there are two occasions where I've actually won PV bat, PvP battles. With just me and Mirage Queen. So, oh, shit, that's right, they're both stealthy. Okay, here we go. It's time to do 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 Damn, what color did he? Oh, brown ones. I keep forgetting about that. So I guess we'll do it again.
Um, just 18. Okay, so that's gonna do it for me. I just wanted to showcase this um this uh, new and improved uh, new and improved team I got. Um, so I'll set to getting this video all all processed and uploaded and all that good stuff, and have to continue on on my uh, continue working on my blog, and I'll try to get a nap in there at some point, and later on doing or later on streaming Guild Wars 2. So, but otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.